<laughs> Alright, hey guys. So, a lot of things happened today, actually, but I feel what you most urgently care about is what happened with Dan. Um, we didn't actually end up going anywhere today because um, we were hanging out in a big group all day instead. Um, but he's totally like trying to put on the moves. And um, I was talking to Gabby about this, and Gabby is a girl with whom I changed my opinion. And um, apparently her solution to taking care of Dan is to tell him that I'm a lesbian. And that's hilarious, but um, untrue. So <laughs> I felt bad. So I told him in the hallway, I was like, no, I'm not. But um, he had to go to his like floor meeting thing with his RA. So I didn't get a chance to have like a longer conversation and be like, I do not want a boyfriend. So I'm going to have to find a moment in which to do that. So he'll understand that. But I think he and everybody else in that group is really cool, so I need to make sure this doesn't end up awkward, or else I won't be able to hang out with them. And I will be sad. So today, I... Let's see, me in that group, we want to... The smaller student union, and we had brunch at a place called Bagel Talk, which has bagels. We... Yuma had a barbecue party thing. And, um, there was food outside, and we played games in the courtyard, and, um, they had watermelon, which was fantastic. Um, and then we had a water balloon fight out front, and, um, first we just played, like, a tossing game, where, like, you would throw it to your partner, and you have to take a step back, and I dominated, okay? Dan was my partner, and, you know, we did the whole backup thing, and we were one of the last two pairs left. Um, we didn't win, but we were fantastic. And then we just, like, had a battle, which didn't really have a winner. The RAs declared themselves the winners. Um, and then I walked to the student union to get my English books. But, um, apparently all 100 English classes, like, they just told me no. They were like, um, we're not going to put up their books until, like, the day of class, which is weird. So I don't have those, and I'm going to have to go to my first class tomorrow without them, and I don't know what's going to happen. But we'll see. I ended up sitting in the bookstore and reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson again. I've now read the first four chapters. And it's fantastic. I think it's a really good book. It's really funny. If you haven't read it, you should. It's going to be in the teen reading section, but I believe that John Green books have no age, and everyone should experience that. Um, I hung out with the other Lizzie in my hall today, and, um, Emily's roommate, and we sat around talking, and they were, like, telling the freshman year horror stories, and, um, I'm suitably frightened away from all, like, um, Greek parties now. I won't be going to those. None of them. Um, so yeah, really, I'm just sitting here and um, mentally composing my <laughs> explanation to Dan in the least hurtful way possible. Apparently, Lizzie says he does this every year. He just kind of picks a girl. I talked on the phone with Victoria for a long time today. That was nice. As I miss you. I went to the freshman convocation thing. And my mental image of the freshman convocation was nothing like what that actually was. In my head, it was like a setup with like booths and like different clubs, organizations, and like the different colleges, like giving out things. And there would be food and music and a party. No, that is not what that was. Okay. We went and we sat in the gym and we got talked at for an hour by the president of like the college and um, different faculty members. And then like the cheerleaders came up, came out and did like a mini pep rally that wasn't even really fun because they were teaching us cheers, but they were really stupid cheers. And then we got released out onto um, just like the sidewalk around the field. 
where there were like a couple of stands set up with food and with free t-shirts. But, like it's a mob of 7,000 freshmen trying to get to two food tents, you know? So we just put a really tall guy from Yuma at the front of our group and followed him as he forged a path to the food tent and we got our plates of food and we came back to the dorm. Like we did not stay for that nonsense. And um, I had my floor RA meeting, which is just like the turn in your things that are wrong with your room forms that they have it on file and won't charge you for things at the end of the year that you didn't do. And um, yeah, it was pretty much pretty much my day. Did you hear that they captured Gaddafi in Libya? Not Libya, in Libya. Um, I'm probably not saying his name right, Gaddafi. But um, I saw it on Twitter, and then I think a couple things on Tumblr, and that's fantastic. And now the Libyans have a chance to be, I mean, they still have like a lot of work to do, obviously, but now they have a chance to, to change things in their country. And so I'm quite happy for them. It's my world news for you. So I guess I just need to give you an advice thing and then leave. Because school starts tomorrow, proper classes, and I'm getting up. Well, Brianna's getting up at 7.30, but I'll probably snooze for half an hour, and I'll get up at 8, probably. Um, my first class is at 9. Now I'll get up at 7.30. So I guess my thing for you guys to learn today and take with you into your life is um, to have very straightforward conversations with boys. But uh, be honest about it. Do not allow them to believe that you are a lesbian and you are in fact not. Because um, then that will probably spread to, to, to everyone. And then everyone will believe that you are a lesbian. And you'll be stuck with that for the rest of your college career. So uh, don't take these excuses. Okay? Clear the air. Be honest. I guess that's all I have for you. Um, yeah. I love you guys. Bye.